In this video, I want to share with you tips on how to minimize soya milk spoiling. This means that your soya milk can stay overnight without it getting spoiled and still remain fresh. I'll soak the soya beans for about 8 hours, so make it a little bit soft. Then I will rinse properly, transfer to my pot, and take to the heat and cook. Cooking your soya beans before blending will help you get rid of certain bacteria that hasten the spoilage of soya milk. I'll cook it for about 30 minutes. Turn off the heat, allow to cool down. After cooling down, here we have our soya beans. I'll transfer into my strainer to save the first water from the soya beans. After this, I'll be adding fresh water to it for me to wash it properly. After rinsing the soya beans, it is time for me to peel off the back of the soya beans from it. I'll do this by squeezing the soya beans with my hands. After peeling the back from the soya beans, I'll be adding fresh water to it. This will enable me to separate the shaft from the soya beans. To do this, I'll be kneading an extra bowl and my sieve. After separating the shaft from the soya beans, here we have our soya beans ready and clean. I'll transfer some to my blender, add some water and blend smoothly. If this is your first time of seeing my videos, I want to say thank you for watching. Kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more great videos like this. And to my amazing returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much. After blending smoothly, I'll be transferring it into my cheesecloth to juice out the milk from it. I'll bring the cheesecloth together like this and begin to squeeze out the milk from it. After juicing it, here we have our soya milk. The next thing I'll be doing is to transfer it to the heat and begin to cook. I'll cook it on a medium heat and continue to stir. Cook for about 30 minutes and always stir at interval. Immediately when the milk starts boiling, it will likely overflow. You have to keep an eye on it and when this happens, Continue to stir vigorously to bring the foam down. After 30 minutes of cooking, it reduces in size. I will turn off the heat and allow it to cool down. Once it's cool, I'll be transferring it to my sieve to strain the milk once again. I add some of the soya beans to my sieve to sieve the milk and I repeat this process until I'm done sieving all of them. Now you know it is easy to make soya milk that can stay fresh overnight. This means that you can enjoy your soya milk drink for about two days without putting it in the fridge. And I know that after watching this video, you want to give it a try. Please let me know how it came out for you in my comment section. After saving it, here we have our soya milk ready. I'll transfer it to a bigger bowl to enable me add my flavor and sweetener. For my flavor, I already have my cinnamon stick boiled out. I'll be adding it to the soya milk. You can also add any flavor of your choice, depending on your taste. And to it also, I'll be adding 
4 cocoa spoon of date syrup. You can also decide to add any sweetener of your choice. But if you want to learn how to make date syrup, the link to that video is in the description of this video. After adding them, I will stir together. Then a soya milk is ready. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share with friends. Transfer your soya milk to an airtight clean container and enjoy your natural and nutritious soya drink. Here I have my soya drink well packaged. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.